Hello and welcome back to another video where we talk about books. 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 Today I have a video that I've actually been wanting to do for a while. And the video is, if you like this movie, you'll definitely like this book. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Movie number one. If you liked The Avengers, you'll definitely like Renegades. And I don't mean the dance, which I was not on TikTok yet when this was going on, so I don't actually know it. But anyways, Renegades is by Marissa Meyer, is a trilogy, it's amazing. It will make you question if there's only really only good and bad, and what's in between. It's awesome, it's fun, it's fast, it's not that fast actually. But the plot is amazing, scary villain, with lots of plots, twists, and turns, and ba-boom. Also, they do have a renegade tower, which, you know, Avengers Tower, and they have a team, and they have a training, and do the Avengers train together? Anyways, there is a lot of similarities, but there's also no similarities. It is completely different from Avengers whilst being the same, if that makes any sense. That's why I think if you're a big Marvel fan or MCU, you will want to be a fan of the Renegades. Next up, let's keep it on the superhero wave. If you like the X-Men, then you will definitely like Shatter Me. Our main character touches you and you die. Haha, uh -huh. uh, we have a guy that turns invisible, we have a guy that uh, copies people's powers, also kind of a rogue thing. Um, we have a guy that's immortal, it's like immune to all the powers, we have a guy that is, or a girl that is flexible and stretches. We have a person that plays with lightning, and we have a Professor X. Chatter Me is literally the X-Men, she's fighting in a different battle in a different world, in a different place, at a different time. With more romance, I guess. Or not even, there's only one romance. Oh no, there's two. So yes, you like mutants that team up with a professor in charge? You will love Chatter Me. If, like me, you're a big fan of The Breakfast Club, then you are going to actually really like One of Us is Lying. Same vibes. It's just that with a crime. Five teens are in detention, one of them. And the four teens that are left are suspects in the murder. And we have a princess, a jock, a brainiac, and the rebel. Those four are the suspects, and each of them has a secret that is going to get out. But not really, but maybe, but you'll see. So it's actually really good. It was what brought me back into, it was what really brought me into mystery. After reading that one, I was like, wow, I really like mysteries. Even though I guess what happened in that one, that was when I discovered my superpower of me guessing every plot ever in the history, history of the world, except few exceptions. Um, it brought me to mystery, and I actually really like mystery now uh, as a genre, and I look forward to reading more mysteries coming up soon. Now, this has been done and redone and done again and done a hundred million times. There's literally like five movies called Another Cinderella Story. So I have another one for you, but in book form. Geekerella. Cinderella meets fangirl. Kind of. Not fangirl the book, but like fangirl as a thing. Our main character and her dad used to be fans of this really big, like, extraterrestrial show. Kind of almost like either Star Wars or Star Trek. Like, it's a mix of those. And it's getting rebooted. So I guess Star, Star Trek. Even though Star Wars has kind of been rebooted. I guess it's not a reboot. It's just re going and going. But anyways... Her dad passed away, Cinderella. Uh, she's taken in by her stepmother and her sisters, Cinderella. 
and she has to do all the chores. And she doesn't have time. So instead of making it to the ball, she wants to make it to Comic Con or some version of Comic Con. And the prince is not a prince, it's a movie star who she doesn't like because he he's playing the main character and she ain't having it because she's a big fan of the original and she don't like the new one even though she hasn't seen it judgy but anyways yeah same vibes another cinderella story this movie is nothing like the book i'm gonna suggest but i don't know why this is again dancing they have the same theme as like growing up teenagers struggling with family problems finding each other as a way to coexist the edge of 17 you will definitely want to read every other weekend our main character her parents are divorced she doesn't like her stepmom but she has to spend every other weekend with her dad there she finds a boy who also has to spend every other weekend there because her parents are his parents are just getting divorced. Like, main character's parents have been divorced for a while, but the love interest characters are just getting divorced. And whilst they find a friendship, everything goes to hell. There is triggers and topics that are similar in both movies that are very, very serious. And there is a lot, actually, that is similar, but the stories are completely different. So this one's more same um i don't want to say topics but like same lessons different story let's do a disney movie if you like aladdin i definitely recommend reading legend Ooh. in legend our main boy is a wanted criminal Aladdin. and the main girl is not a princess but almost a princess it's kind of like the equivalent of a princess in this world so they come from completely different extremes we got the criminal and the princess i guess we'll call her but she's not a princess and things happen it's actually kind of sad sometimes it takes you on a roller coaster of emotions and the sequel is better than the sequel for this one there is no genie though in legend but it's still just as magical now to finish if you liked the one the only the famous twilight you are definitely going to enjoy ember of night did you really think I'm gonna be like Twilight read Twilight? No. Ember of Night gave me Twilight vibes as I read it, but in the best way. Main character is not whiny like Bella. Um, love interest is dark, and he's like, What if I'm not the hero? What if I'm the bad guy? You have to stay away from me. Then it's like, hey, you wanna meet me up? <laughs> you wanna meet up? You wanna go out? Oh yeah. No, I can't touch anybody. I'm dangerous. I'm a weapon. Hey, comic book store at 7? Yeah, bring your little sister. Same vibes. But the main character is a little more, a lot more badass than Bella ever was. Or ever. Well, actually, Bella last book is pretty badass if you ask me. That final battle, if you ever read it, Bella was giving and serving looks. But yes, this book... Gave me Twilight vibes in the best way. I love Twilight. I'm a huge Twilight fan, so it was great. Um, there were other stuff that also made me go like, wow, this is a little like Twilight. But like, it's not. But like, you get the vibes. And that's the best. It's, it's awesome. So, if you like Twilight, give Ember of Night a try. And those were all the book recommendations I have for this edition. Working next on the TV shows. If you like this TV show, go read this book. I don't watch a lot of TV shows, just like I don't watch a lot of movies. I should have probably said that before. I rewatch a lot of my favorite TV shows. I also watch a lot of sitcoms, comedies. I'm not really into like the drama stuff or the fantasy stuff. 
But anyways, I will give it a try. I'm currently watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> but anyways, I'll give it a try. I'm going to do, if you like this book, read, uh, if you like this TV show, read this book. And I'm also thinking, like, if you like this character, maybe read this book because it's the same character vibes. If you like this Disney princess, read this book. I don't know. I'm going to keep thinking about them, but this may become a series. Let me know. Thumbs up or thumbs down what you think about this series coming. If you like this, read this. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to see more, make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment down below all your love. Sounds good. I think that's the smoothest I've ever done it.